Hey there, welcome back guys. This video is by request from one of our viewers slash subscribers on the new application for your drone simulator called FPV Logic. Amazing application. Um, your, your, your techniques and everything that you do in the simulator transpose into the real world. So wh whatever you do in there, uh, and whatever drone you have moving forward that you're gonna take outside will work just fine. Um, and it's a newer application. We've covered some other ones, but I kind of like this one better and I'll show you why So without any further ado come let's get started. You're going to need your RC remote controller um, Whether it be one two, I believe it also works with the uh, some Bluetooth controllers um, You have to figure that part out, but you're also going to need your USB C connection um, So we're going to connect ours here. Just plug it in Okay, and then launch liftoff not lift off launch FPV logic sorry um, so you there's a link in the description down below if you haven't downloaded steam steams a great application where um, many games live in there um, and you know if you're, you're a gamer uh, or you, you aspire to be one um, check it out uh, but in this case you uh, you go into the store right and if you can't find it see a little search thing right there you can type in FPV logic and it should show up and me, I already have it, but in your case, you know, just follow the, the, the experience that'll take you to um, what you need to so you can get up and running, and as you can see. And then I can, I should have a play now. I'm gonna click, well, I've only spent about four hours in there, which is pretty good, um, but I've spent a lot of my time using um, the other one, Liftoff, and some other FPV uh, apps. Check it out, but it, the graphics are phenomenal. It's like 3D-ish. Um, maybe we'll start off in the uh, shopping mall, okay, and then click next. I'm in window mode, so you can have full screen or window if your processor is not as fast. I recommend using windowed, this way the experience doesn't eat up everything on your machine and you have um, room and time to do other stuff. All right, so as you can see, we're going to go in the mall. You might want to put it on just in case you're the kind of gamer that throws the remote around. You can still throw it. Damn it, I hate this game but you'll feel it as it pulls you, okay? I'm an acro. Um, acro, if you're new to this, I recommend pressing the F key and putting it into acro. Acro flies the drone a little bit slower and you can't, oh, sorry, not acro, angle. Press F again, angle. Angle flies the drone a little bit slower and the dynamics work a little bit like this. Okay, we'll just leave the drone there and I'll explain to you with a new guy uh, on this one so that you can get the gist of it. Okay, so knowing that and moving forward, looks like I'm trapped in window mode, uh, but I'll just go here so that we can transition into a fuller screen. Okay, acro allows you to do acrobats, right? Think of acro, the short term for acrobats. You'll do flips and turns and rolls and things like that. And for the new guy, it, it, you're gonna feel like the drone's flying like a bat out of hell and you might return it to the store because you'll be like I can't fly this thing so if you're not ready for acro don't if you've flown FPV before and you're curious about the simulator let's move forward so um, I recommend flying in angle mode okay angle is gonna let the drone well, let's show you again you're like I just want to fly angle is gonna let the drone go this way that way it'll tilt a little bit but it's up is up this way up and down is just level, basically level mode if you have flown other simulators. All right, so knowing that and moving forward, okay, so we're back again. Um, so now we're gonna take the drone, okay? Uh, I'm not sure why there's no audio. There should be audio, but eh, that's fine. Oh, there we are. So as you can see, we're in angle, means we can't do any flips. But the drone can go fast if you angle it a little bit further you can turn it but the beauty of angle is that you can fly lower and slower and probably make it into the mall if you're lucky or parking lot uh, if you're not comfortable flying indoors you know i just recommend um staying in the parking lot as you can see it's a little bit tricky flying indoors because you really have to be quick on your toes and I like to stay low when I'm indoors, but you, you're not gonna be able to do that if you're inside an abandoned building or let's say shopping mall. Probably in an abandoned mall you can. Let's see, the doors open 
on real in real time. I like I like but look at the 3D graphics on this thing. Remember we're in angle mode, okay? Not an acro, we're not an acrobatic sport. And this is the mode you want to be in when flying indoors, okay? Outside, I recommend doing acrobats and things like that. And you'll be in the mall. See look at that. Or there has it back in the day, I believe this was called the Galleria. <laughs> right? Did you go to the Galleria? What's the Galleria? I don't think kids today know what a gallery is. It's actually the mall um, or a shopping center. Um, so yeah, you can explore. See, there's an old store called Cleopatra. Um, and in Acro, this exploring the mall or any abandoned building is going to be challenging. All right, as you can see, and 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 you might not be here. You'd be like, "What is the guy talking about? I can't fly. My drone is, you know, get you'll get there. Practice." Uh, practice practice again this is angle now if I go into full acro there's no way I'm getting out of here let's just explore in there and then you know it's tricky that's why for me I have to stay lower and slower um, but I can definitely and you notice has the hardest part is actually slowing down the drone that's where you're gonna find your challenge um, so you a lot of guys will develop the skill set to fly, right? But when you're inside, it's 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 hard. Anybody can fly full blown acro or angle outside. It's 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 a given. It's a blessing, thankfully. Flying. Oh wow! Oh, there's a door. Oh wow! That was going. So flying inside is another you know can of worms you're gonna open up. And then that's it. So this is the Galleria, also known as the mall, which we're going to land it. Okay. And now let's check out another scene. Let's go to the factory. Let's go to exit. And the factory is really nice because you can be outside, explore, and um, really test the test the waters when it comes to FPVing. Um, this factory is okay. I like it. Now uh, the other one's actually better. Um, you know, it just has more hidden nooks and crannies. Remember, we're flying with a micro drone, all right? So here we go. And we're going to change the drones in a little bit to more of an FPV experience where the drone kind of flies like a bat out of hell. Okay? So as you can see, um, we're still in angle. Let's try to move it up a notch, right? And go press the F key. Acro. Now we're in full acro. The drone, see the angle? You can do dives. You can go up, you know, don't, I don't recommend doing a dive so low to the ground, but as you can see, now we're in full acro, and you can just maneuver the drone around corners, sharper turns, and how it rotates, and you know, you can be like those FPV guys that just fly and do a dive, or flip, right? You gotta be careful, you gotta do them fast though. Um, let will just explore in there. A little bit but you, you see you have more control over the drone and that comes with time you, you remember that's why I recommend doing um, angle in the beginning and it's really hard to talk and fly at the same time to be honest with you um, and do sharp turns so that's why when you go you'll go with friends I've gone with other pilots before and you usually take turns you know they spot you and then you watch them they watch you because you really don't want to because of the frequency issues, you really don't want to have too many FPV drones in the air at the same time. Unless you're like a novice pilot and you're really good at it and you just know what you're doing and you know, you can pretty much wing it and risk the drone and everybody else around you. Um, because I remember one time I was flying, I didn't know this, the guy's like, so what channel are you on? I'm like, what? What do you mean channel? I'm just flying. He's like, yeah, I need to know so that we don't interfere with each other. I was like, oh, I didn't know that. And that, you know, that's when I had an awakening. And I was like, and then when I went back again with the fellas, um, they took turns flying because they didn't want to have frequency jam, you know, which was kind of interesting. Remember, this is acro. Ooh, be careful. Again, it's hard to talk and fly at the same time. So when you see guys flying acro with the goggles on, don't bother them. Leave them alone. Let them fly. And then you can stand by them, right? But, whoops, don't, um, well, 
And if you go find yourself in a jam like this, because you know you're acro, just put the drone into level mode, right? To get yourself out of um, also known as angle, get yourself out of the jam, right? And then you fly low and slow, and hopefully you can get out of that spot. Whoa! Most likely you will have lost your drone, and you'll be repairing it when you get home. See, I'm an angle. Sometimes those tight spots are really hard because you have to think in bullet time. Let's try another um, another uh, level in here. Let's try the other factory I kind of like because it's got tunnels and things like that. Remember, this is a micro drone. We're going to go into another drone after this. The ones that fly really fast that require you to, you know, get with the program. Um, that's the beauty of these things. And thanks to one of our viewers slash subscribers, FPV Unknown recommended um, uh micro drones because they're just so much better and easier to fly as you can see they are and these skills will transfer or are transferable in the real world like i always say in my videos um so yeah you'll be okay see it's a little bit it's just oh wow uh, you know what i want to try that little bridge so this is the old refinery so this is why i like this one so for me and look you could even do a smokestack dive i'm not there yet but i'd do something more my speed I can go in there. Kind of neat, huh? Just keep it centered. Except I don't know how I'm going to get out. Oh. Whoa. So, you know, you got to be prepared for the unexpected. I'm like, where did it go? And a lot of times, you want to... Um, I'm not one of those guys who can wing it. And FPV, like, my first flight's my best flight. I can scout it out. So try and don't be like, oh, it looks like a cool place to fly. Don't do that. Scout it out. Maybe explore it. Take your Avada if you have one, so you can fly it slow, low and slow. And then with your FPV drone, like I'll never fly FPV and wing it on my first flight. I'll scout. I'll send them the send them the drones. Not this drone though. I'll send them the Avada. But the only problem with the Avada is you need um, reception and stuff. All right. So let's go out of here. Um, let's escape and let's um, test out the bullet time drones I call them because you gotta you gotta be fast so we're gonna change the drones we're gonna go into the neighborhood the neighborhood's kind of interesting because um, things tend to auto populate and the only downside to the neighborhood is that um, apparently they assume that you can fly FPV because when you um, maybe it was this one yeah, we'll take that one. When it starts you off in the neighborhood, you're inside the house. But don't be intimidated by that because you can fly the micro drone inside. Oh, this is not a micro drone. I'm an angle. I'm going to try and get out because I can't fly this drone indoors. See, it's just faster. Now, the beauty of this drone is that one, it's faster, it's in bullet time, and um, I'm an angle. So I might as well just put it in acro. And as you can see, Wow, where am I? Oh, gotta go back down. The town is auto populating. It's like building itself. It's like AI generated. Oops, I got my remote controller stick. So I'm just getting my bearings. So when you go too high up, it just, you know, the drone just does its own thing. Alright, so you can see it's just a much, much faster flight. You gotta be quick with your reflexes. You can't slow it down. You probably could. With the PID rates, be careful for power lines, because this drone has no mercy. There's no obstacle avoidance in the true FPV. And as you can see, it's faster than a micro drone. You know, it flips, turns, etc. And look, the town is building itself. Um, and there are homes in here uh, that you can explore. But, you know, again, um, look at how 3D-ish it looks. It's just so amazing. Um, you know, there are other drones you can try, but when you're ready to go full acro, acro short for acrobats, right? Um, you can go lower, but I uh, can try and see you hit the ground. Typical experience with this particular FPV, sometimes if um, there's a crash code you can implement into the drone where if you crash, it still stays in its location. Um, if you don't put that code in, the drone just goes bonkers. I find if you look at one of my Pablo Pico builds, after putting the crash code in, 
um, the drone was pretty stable after hitting something. And whereas before that, Crash Code, it um, would just go bonkers. Like I would do this, hit the ground, and the drone would just go flying. Like here, you know, it could crash, which is fine, but um, whoops. it's really hard to get the drone back up, which is fine. That looks like these drones have the crash code in them. Whereas, like, if it didn't, it would just go crazy. It would go like that. If you've seen any of my live videos with um, me flying uh, the drone and crashing it into the wall or sofa. All right, so that's that, you know. But again, if this is another can of worms, I would recommend like a Get Bar C or Pablo series from Beta Flight if you want to fly before getting one of these babies, you know. Uh, these aren't, you know, these are just different. We'll go F, we'll click Escape again see whatever levels we have again I like the micro drone series on here which is just phenomenal uh, we'll just do one more level and we'll do use a micro drone the stadium the stadium is really nice stadium during the day uh, parking garage is similar to the Galleria slash mall um, but definitely whoops, doable if that makes any sense and you see again I'm in window mode we're gonna change the drone to that um, this one right here I like that little guy yeah. Um, I haven't explored any of the other drones, but um, they you know they all work just as good, and you can tweak them in the settings. This game is so self-explanatory that I don't even have to go into like how to set it up. Um, it, you know, it's not like the other apps where you have to do an Easter egg hunt. It's alt mode, alt time. Mean, my stick is. That's the only thing I hate when you're flying. Sometimes you get white knuckle driving syndrome, and um, the uh, remote controller stick becomes loose. This is Acro. Acro is okay if you're in the stadium. This is probably how the guys become ex inspired to flying at the stadium during the football game because like, oh my god, this is so cool. See? You know, you can explore inside. Remember, this is Acro, so you probably, when you're inside, you want to put it in um, angle mode, which is also known as level. So you can fly indoors with it. And here it is, that's PB Logic. You can explore the stadium. Whoops, and just go in. And that's the beauty of Angle. It just allows you, whoops, to explore and build your skills, you know? Except you can't, this reminds me of Mist, where you, when you explore outside, um, but you can still make it back in. And I believe that's it. Kind of neat, huh? Gotta love it. Anyway, you know, this is the FPV Logic Simulator. Um, you know, it works well on the Mac. I believe there are other platforms that it does support. Um, you'll find it in the uh, link when you go to download it. I hope this video helped you. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. Or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.